thiamine mononitrite, riboflavin, riboflavin, high fructose corn syrup, corn syrup, sugar. To reading labels stress you out, I have one simple rule of tongue. If I have trouble pronouncing it, I will not eat it. So as for these ingredients, I won't be using these today. Welcome to the Keys Ingredients. Today, we're going to visit my Italian roots and I'm going to teach you how to make pasta primavera, which is just one of my many possibilities. Refined foods, specifically enriched wheat flour, is one of the many culprits adding to the decline in today's health. Grains are so overused today and I like to limit them. So when I indulge in a pasta, I like to use an ancient grain like spelt. It has more protein and a completely different chromosomal makeup than today's hybrid, crossbred, genetically manipulated franken wheat. Spelt is not gluten free, yet it is tolerated by many who are gluten intolerant due to that special genetic makeup. Today's key ingredients are vegetables, basil, garlic, olive oil, pecorino romano cheese, and spelt. This is what it looks like as a berry. This is what it looks like as a flower. I'm just gonna add some egg, a bit of salt, a little bit of water, and put it through my pasta machine, and there it is, homemade pasta. Of course, homemade pasta is more of an excuse for me to hang out with my kids in the kitchen, more than anything else. There are other possibilities. Store-bought pasta with minimal ingredients is one, and of course, those of you who choose to be grainless can substitute spaghetti squash or zucchini noodles. Those are just a few other options, so let's get started. Okay, so we're just gonna finish adding this zucchini to this beautiful vegetable medley, which has all the colors of the rainbow. Before I pop it in the oven, I am gonna coat it with salt, pepper, and a very generous amount of olive oil. I'll be roasting the vegetables in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. So while the vegetables are roasting, I'll go and boil my water and put my pasta on and they should be ready about the same time. I like to add fresh spinach just to blanch it just a little bit. Give it a little bit of a stir and chop it up right after it's removed. Add my pasta in, give it a stir. While we're waiting on the timer, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about why I think refined food should be avoided. Label reading is so important, but you have to know what you're looking for. I wanna to talk to you about three things. Refined food, wheat, and gluten-free. Refined food. When grains are refined, they're stripped of their nutrients and they become empty calories. That fat-free label is not so fat-free after all because as soon as you eat it, your body metabolizes it as sugar and stores it as fat. Second is wheat, and I am talking about enriched white flour. It's in everything and so addictive. I always say when I order in a restaurant, if I have pasta, I'm having dessert. Now that I'm using spelt, I don't feel that way. If I decide on dessert, it's my choice and not my stomach's. White flour is an appetite stimulant. This is why you can finish your entire meal after eating a half a basket of bread in the restaurant. Third, gluten-free. Does that sound familiar? That label is everywhere. Do you eat gluten-free? Do you have trouble finding the right things? I have great news for you. Gluten-free is not the answer. Packaged foods labeled gluten-free are still starches, which cause blood sugar levels to spike and then crash. The body recognizes refined foods, gluten-free or not, as a sugar and still stores it as a fat. Saved by the bell. Here it is, roasted vegetable medley. Smells delicious. Before putting this on the pasta, what I'm going to do is top it with some cheese and a little drizzle of olive oil, or you could use pesto. I'm going to dump all these delicious vegetables on top and then top it with fresh tomatoes and fresh basil. Here it is, pasta primavera. Primavera in Italian means spring. This is where the dish got its name, but its flavor comes from the combination of the vegetables being slow roasted together. The juicy tomatoes, the fresh basil, the garlic, and that hint of cheese at the very end. It just makes your taste buds sing. 
Mm. Mm. So good. Join us next time when we look at refined sugar. Until then, stick with me and you'll learn exactly what to look for when you read those labels. It's how to take your pantry from where it is to better, one step at a time. And that, my friends, is La Bella Verita. <laughs>